Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video for Stamp.com. Today I'm going to be using the Love Messages stamp set from Simus's Stamp. This is from their latest release and I'm going to be using this mostly greeting stamp set to show you how you can create the two very simple clean cards. And I'm going to only use that stamp set and then some ink and a few other little items here. But for the most part, this is very minimal supplies. So you don't need a lot of stuff on hand to create the, these two cards. I've prepared two card bases. One is five and a half by four and a quarter and the other is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And for this first card, I'm just put, placing a piece of tape just past that fold so you, I can see where the actual size of the card is. That tape's not there for any other reason, just so that I can see where the fold is. I'm using five different colors of VersaFine Claire ink, starting out with this nice gray shade. And I'm taking the I love you, I love you, I love you stamp, and I'm going to stamp that kind of in the bottom right corner. It's a little more centered than in the corner. And then I'm going to take the other four colors and I'm going to stamp the hearts from the stamp set. Now this stamp set is all greetings except for these three hearts. So I'm going to use the very small images that are included in the stamp set to build out a larger image area. I'm taking each one of these heart stamps and I'm stamping them in different colors and kind of going along in a line. My idea is I'm going to have these hearts have lines coming down from them and that will create stems. So like the hearts are flower shapes. So after I have all of the hearts stamped, I'm going to take a ruler and also a very thin black pen. This is a 0.3 Copic Multiliner, but you could use whatever thin black marker or pen you have on hand. And I'm drawing a line horizontally going right below the sentiment and the hearts. And then I'm using that same ruler to connect the bottom point of each heart with that line that I've just drawn. This is going to create those vertical stems coming down from the heart quote unquote flowers. So in order to make them look even more like flowers, I'm going to draw very simple leaf shapes on each one of these heart stems. These are really, really simple leaves. I'm not doing anything intricate. I mostly just want to have a few different orientations or different sizes for each of these leaves. Uh, for example, that first one has just one leaf. The second heart flower has two sets of leaves. The third one just has one leaf and so on. And for this last one on the biggest heart, I wanted the leaf to be even larger to kind of fill in that gap between the yellow flower and the pink flower. So I had a little um, blip on my heart stamp. Um, I, I need to look into that and see what was going on when I was stamping. But because of that, I decided to use my white gel pen and add some dots. And I also added a little bit of a white interior on that blue heart. So for the second card, this is the square card, I'm starting out by using two different strips or two strips of post-it tape. You could use any type of tape for this. I just find post-it tape works really well. So I'm masking off a diagonal stripe area. And then I put down my tonic easy clean mat to protect my work surface. And then I took those same four colors of ink and I'm using a mini round blending tool, a different foam for each color and blending these colors on. I want to create sort of like a rainbow stripe going across this card. So I'm going to move the strips of post-it tape so that I can mask off each one of these colors. This is a great way to build a really colorful border area on your card, but without needing any stamps or dyes or anything special like that to create the images. So I'm adding that blue color, more of the teal color, I guess. And then I'm going to come in with the very last color, which is a much more intense bluish indigo shade. This is actually called Bluebell. So after I have all those colors on, I removed the post-it tape and I'm left with this sort of rainbow stripe. So now I'm going to take the greeting, one of the greetings from the stamp set, another one that says I love you. I'm going to use that same gray ink that I used before and I'm going to line it up along that diagonal line at the top and I'll stamp down. 
And then to add some interest to this area, I thought about stamping those same heart stamps and white heat embossing, but then I decided that I wanted to have them be outline hearts. So I just decided to draw these on freehand. These hearts can be really wonky or as hand-drawn and freeform as you like. I just wanted to have a few different sizes of hearts going across and um, kind of filling that striped area. I also added some dots to that blue borderline at the bottom as well. So that finishes up the cards for today. I think these are really cute. They're simple and easy, and you could um, very easily replicate them over and over for Valentine's Day. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in another video very soon. Mm -hmm.